first description of Joseph Wilfund we get is that he was some sort of visionary who predicted the phrase, but this isn't true, not even close. The first season of pretty much every series ever is the experimental season. They want to see what works and what doesn't work, which is why some series can have some changes in lore characters or extending plots from season 1 to 2 and beyond. This is why Mr. Wilford in season 2 is a bit different from what Melanie described him when she got arrested. However, this was from her perspective and her experiences with Wilford. So of course, she made him seem worse than he really was. But he also could have changed from who he was before the priest, the person that Melanie knew, to who he became in those seven years on Big Alice with Melanie's daughter, Alex. We don't get to see much of Wilford before the priest, but from what we did see, he didn't really change all too much. He's still a genius and a junior who built a mega train with Melanie to ride at the end of the world. However, turning his greatest dreamliner into an arc wasn't his idea, it was Melanie's. Wilfoy just saw an opportunity to make more money. But that doesn't mean Melanie knew about the phrase before Wilford. Who knew first doesn't matter, it's just how is the right question here. CW7 was the cooling agent that was used to cool down the scorching temperatures of Earth in response to climate change. But apparently solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy, and nuclear energy failed to reduce greenhouse emissions. CW7 was a Hail Mary and it failed. This process is called geoengineering and it should never be used, like ever. As the likelihood of it actually working is very low. There are also some global consequences to geoengineering. There's really only three outcomes of geoengineering if it fails. One, the planet's rainfall cycle will change, meaning some places would get too much rain or too little. Two, two, geoengineering makes the planet drier and already hot places will become uninhabitable. Or three, the planet cools too much and the earth freezes over and all life dies. Geoengineering affects Earth's whole ecosystem, which is why it should never be a considerable solution. We also don't know how exactly things will change. If in the future geoengineering becomes a considerable solution, I hope that scientists learn from past geoengineering caused by natural disasters. Those are the only tests of geoengineering that actually worked, such as when Krakatoa erupted in 1883, which caused the global temperatures to cool by around 1.2 degrees Celsius, which didn't create a global ice age. If that event happened today, it would actually be helpful. So cooling the planet can work. If Mother Nature did it, then so can mankind. But Mother Nature also caused a Canadian pollutable event, which made it rain everywhere for about 2 million years. This was also caused by volcanoes and a dry climate. But unlike Krakatoa, the Canadian pollutable event was a mass extinction. It seemed like geoengineering can be a mass extinction event or buy us a little time to fix our planet. But how did Wolfo know that CW7 would fail? I guess he used logic, common sense, and did proper research on the internet. He wasn't some mindless sheep like Andre Layton and the Taylors who believed the government when they said that CW7 would work. So Mr. Wolford didn't really foresee anything. He's just smart. He was also rich enough to provide a way out of dying in the, in the apocalypse. I won't be surprised if it's revealed in the season 4 that Wolford pitched the idea of CW7 and he creates no person so he has some people to worship him. But I think this theory is wrong because Wolford didn't know that CW7 was buried in a larger compound. Also Melanie would have known that CW7 was his idea. She would have found out somehow. In response, Melanie and Bennett could have leaked the information about the departure time of Snowpiercer to cause a riot that would draw Wilford outside to try to contain it. And once he stepped off the train, she would leave him trackside to die with everyone else in the freeze. As this was his fault and he should share the fate of everyone he indirectly killed. This is also another theory that's been floating around in the fandom. Whether or not it's true, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see what the fourth and final season of Snowpiercer will bring. What are your thoughts about this? This has been Frost Rider. Don't forget to like and share this video.